Hi, Lonnie King here with Ontario Doors Magazine. Once again, I'm in the tackle room, and today I'm musky proofing my musky baits, in particular those hollow bodied baits that, after extended use, one of the their Achilles heels, if you will, is the fact that they can often leak, either through just direct teeth marks from fish or more often from the hooks constantly banging into their sides. Eventually it'll wear a hole in them. Once they start to leak, it's really hard to, to get them to run straight anymore. A lot of times you just throw those baits out. So this technique I'm going to show you, it either works on those old battle scarred warriors. This one here has already been repaired a number of times just by putting epoxy on the outside of the bait. Or you can do it as a preemptive strike against that sort of damage. This is an example of one I've already done. This one wasn't leaking, but it never will leak because I've applied this technique to it. Essentially what the technique involves, it's really simple to do, just a simple, uh, a few basic steps. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be drilling a series of holes in the bait, and we're going to be filling it up with expanding foam. And then after it dries, we're going to let it expand. We've got to make sure we get all the air pockets out of it. Once it dries, we're going to cut off the excess, and we're going to treat those holes, or the, the exposed styrofoam, with some you know, epoxy and then you could always paint over those holes after if you don't like the looks of it. So that's the basic steps. The, the, the equipment that we're going to need, again very simple, is a drill with a quarter inch bit and the reason I say quarter inch is it just needs to be big enough so that the tube of the expanding foam can fit in there nicely and you can get it all the way up into the crevices of the bait to make sure you, you can reach everywhere in there. You'll need some expanding foam and a two-part epoxy. I'm using Envirotech just because I have it on hand, but any two-part epoxy will work. I've got a knife just for trimming off the excess, and I've got just a, a cap that I got out of the recycling bin uh, with, a, with a popsicle stick, and that's what I'm going to be using just to mix up the epoxy. So not a lot of high-tech stuff here. Really easy to do. Let's get at it. One quick note of caution, there's always some risk when working with power tools or chemicals. Apply the appropriate safety equipment such as gloves, a vise, or glasses to prevent injury to your hands or eyes. So the first step in this process of course is first of all taking off the hooks and that's for no other reason than your own safety. Secondly, you're going to use that drill and you're going to drill a series of holes along the side of the bait. In this bait in particular, I think uh, three holes along each side should be just fine and that's just to enable all that air to be pushed out of the bait. Next we're going to inject the expanding foam making sure we get into all the crevices. We've got to get all the air out of that bait. Once the expanding foam is dry then we're going to trim off the excess and then we're going to prepare and apply the two-part epoxy. And once that epoxy dries you end up with a bait that looks like this. This bait will never leak again. This is a great preventative measure to apply to new baits to keep them from ever leaking, but it's also a great way to bring those baits that have, have performed so well but have started to leak, keep them in circulation longer. Because we all know, once you get that bait that's producing, you really don't want to let it go. Hey, there's my tip for keeping or for maintaining, for improving your hollow body musky baits.